for purchase of health insurance across state lines. Uh, I believe the American people are smart. Uh, we can trust citizens to vote their feet and buy health insurance wherever they think is best for themselves and their families. When we open up a health insurance purchase across state lines, costs will go down, quality and access will go up. Uh, we also need to empower and grow physician-owned practices. Uh, I am a strong supporter and believer in the James Cancer Hospital. I'm a strong supporter and believer in the Cleveland Clinic. We are blessed to have large, strong hospital systems in, in, their, in our state and our country, and we should celebrate that. At the same time, as the uh, doctor said, at the same time there are individual cancer centers, neurological centers, other outpatient centers that are good for patients. And if citizens and patients choose to go to a physician-owned hospital or physician-owned senator, they should have that opportunity, they should have that option. And unfortunately, because of overregulation in Washington and because of some targeted regulation in Washington, the physician-owned practice, the physician-owned hospital too often is going by the wayside in our country. You think about it over the past couple of decades, think about all the doctors you know who used to be in their own practice and who are now working for a larger system. Some of them may have gone to a larger system because they wanted to, but some of them may have, may, have, may have gone to a larger system because they had to. And I believe that competition in the marketplace, strong healthcare systems like Ohio Health, like the Cleveland Clinic, like the James Cancer Hospital and the Ohio State University Medical Center, these are good things. We should celebrate that and grow them. But at the same time, it shouldn't be mutually exclusive from having strong physician-owned centers and physician-owned hospitals. And it's one of the reasons why we chose this setting for this press conference today, to stand with uh, men and women who are working as nurses, as doctors, in a physician-owned center. Uh, so those are some of my uh, 10 points, and I have a lot of other ideas as well. Uh, I think it might be appropriate now to just open it up to any questions you may have. And anyone else here would like to make any comments, I'd be glad to uh, open it up to the floor as well. Uh, I just want to make one comment. Uh, I've maintained a physician practice environment, and actually as the situation has changed in the community, we've gotten very busy because Good. patients come and select us. But I walked into the office the other day after working here for a long time doing surgery that cost less to the insurance company, to the government, and most importantly to the patient. And my office manager was in tears. And I hadn't been in the office, so I knew it wasn't me, at least at that moment. And I said, why? She said, we just got another audit for 25 charts. She says, I have so many things that are just routine and bogging us down. And she's a well-trained nurse. She said, I don't have time for my patients. I don't have time to do all of this. And we can't afford to grow our organization because we have so many pressures from the outside on us. Uh, we'll survive. We found a way, and we're going to continue to do this. And I think this Knightsbridge Center is a real cornerstone of that effort. And I'm sure my colleagues here have something to say about that. Great. Be glad to open up to any questions, uh, Mark.